going to least my own art. I just did a big one. <laughs> um, so I was cleaning up my paints and I was inspired because I found these um, kind of like neon-y things that I haven't used in a while. So I thought I would do some sort of like ombre type of feel, okay? Let's start with the colors. This is golden, Elliot's so annoying, he sneezes, I can't. Um, this is the violet that I just used, golden violet something, which I don't remember, but I, <sighs> it's a production. Okay. Anyways, in my video where I did the cool versus warm, um, I use this violet. Honestly, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a golden one. Okay. Next, we have um, Australian Sky Blue by Matisse. Very pretty. I guess I should go in order of like, whatever. Sorry, let's start again. Okay, the darkest was the violet. The second darkest is, um, I'm using this prism violet. It's a gouache, liquitex, but you can use any violet. Um, okay. The next is um the liquitex these are the colors i mixed up for another video i did oh to test the tri art style activators um fluorescent violet liquitex fun the next lightest one is tlp hustle the next lightest one is I like my gloves. Um, the, the Liquitex gouache fluorescent, what's it called? Opera pink. Okay, and then the lightest one is this guy. Why don't I do like a little swatch to see what we're doing? I still don't exactly know what we're doing. So we're gonna go violet. Just give me a second here. I don't even know if this can look pretty, but I figured I might as well mix up some paints that I have. You know. All right, this is looking pretty. Maybe not the last one, but kind of pretty, right? Is this throwing us off a bit? It could be, because it is a pretty cool color. And as we learned in my video of cools and warms, sometimes it it can throw it off a bit. Because I'm really liking um, this scenario here. You can't even see how fluorescent this pink is in this light. Yeah, this is throwing us off, isn't it? I could find a very light pink, but do I even wanna bother? I don't know, we'll think about it. See, but that's why it's sometimes good to do swatch tests, right? It could be okay though, I don't know. Okay, so to be honest, I have no idea what we're gonna do. I do have a 12 inch square. That's what I know. Squares are, I don't wanna just do, do I just wanna do a plain blue? Do I wanna do like one of my um, ink inspired blooms where I like color block? Um, I find blooms, on, like one big bloom on squares kind of boring, but that could be me. I really, or would it be fun to do a bloom vine with, with each color? Um, but then bloom vines always get so whatever. I don't know, let's think about it, I'll be right back. Okay, would it be cute to do like a bloom vine? So do like, and do really mini ones, right? So two mini bloom vines from the lightest to darkest. Two mini bloom vines from like, how would I do that? Or I just go half, lightest to darkest, darkest to lightest. But then like they'll be all stretched and yucky. Whatever, we'll see, okay. I have my pillow, Glidden Essentials eggshell. I leave it open for a day. Now, if I'm, it's so normally when I bloom, I do like to leave it open for more than a day, but who has time? So it is a little thin. So we've got to be aware of that in our, see, it's pretty thin actually. 
in our endeavors, we have to be aware that this is a bit thin. So what does that mean for us? Well, it means we're not gonna get popping cells. It means we might get kind of melty. Um, it means a lot of things for us, to be honest. I still have quite a bit of paint here. Um, why don't we give it a try? I mean, pff, right? I'm not like super convinced, but why don't we do it? So what do I do? Actually, instead of a vine, I'll do multiple blooms. We'll go two and two, right? And we're just looking for fun color anyways. So why don't on the bottom, I'll start lightest to darkest, okay? So I'll go, because I don't want to have to spin it too much. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know? All right, we might be okay. All right, here we go. I'm going. One, two. All right. Then I'm going. I don't know why I'm making them so close together. Oh, and that's not even the right. Okay, Lisa Marvin, pay attention. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> One, two. Okay. One, two. These colors are fun, I'll admit. One, two. One, actually, I have a better idea. It's something I've never done before. We're doing a quadruple bloom. Why? That's going to be silly, but we're going to do it. I'm calling it a quadruple bloom. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. One, two. Okay, so the quadruple bloom, I'm going to go here and here from dark to light. Is that going to be weird? It just might be weird, but we've never done it before, so let's do it. What's the point of it? We don't know. Is the middle gonna look weird? Most likely. But we're having fun at this point. Okay, so now I'm going dark to light. We don't know what's gonna happen. By the way, I'm using a white cell activator today, which is Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam Titanium White. All right, so doing these types of things, we've got to be careful about how we blow. It's going to be funny. We're just like having fun at this point, okay? So, I don't know. You can tell I'm, <laughs> I'm not convinced this is going to work. Uh, my cell activator is quite thick. One moment, please. I'm just going to add a little more flow troll to it. Good thing I checked that one. Okay. Always make sure your ingredients are on point. And that's the problem also. So if my pillow is pretty thin and my paints are a little thicker, I might get a lot of pillow coming up. Like we don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to really adjust my blow for whatever I notice. This is still a little thick, but we're just gonna do it. Ready? We're gonna start over here. Okay. Cute, but as I suspected, some pillow did come up where I blew, you can see. And that's just a thin pillow issue. We're not gonna judge it yet too much though, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm blowing very gently. Dizzy. And they're kind of cute actually. Like these lines always annoy me, but 
we'll see what happens. It's also hard to blow it because I did a thin layer because I don't want to have to blow it out too much. Okay, let's see what we got here. I mean, you know. I don't even know what we're looking at. Like, it's cute, but it's going to start stretching as I spin in a weird way because of centrifuge and whatnot. Why don't we start spinning? And then if whenever, like I'll start skewering whatever I need to skewer. I will admit it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> but you see like these outer ones, they're st they start to go, let me off, you know? And then they get weird, which I don't like, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. <clears throat> I will try to get both edges off, like, and have more of, like, a line, if I can. And then I'll see what I need to skewer. If anything. Okay, so this side needs to come off more. Just a little bit. like <clears throat> it's fine it's not horrible you know how i'm kind of against squiggly wigglies but then i kind of like them but then other people like them but i don't like when it's too squiggly wiggly but i think people do like when it's squiggly wiggly you know because i just never know when to stop really once i start squiggling okay i mean listen really cool um areas for sure do i want to start i do have to spin it a bit more do i want to start squiggly wiggling though that's the question eh? it really looks like a bouquet you know I'm just making sure we get all the paint off so we don't work. But it's, it's cute, okay? It's a little bouquet of flowers and I'm not gonna squiggly wiggly this one. But let's, we'll do another one of some sort. I'm not sure yet, but I'm happy with this one. Isn't that funny? How are we doing? Paint wise, we have a little bit left in the middle, but not horrible. And it's funny, I didn't think I had enough paint to do anything with so okay i'm done little bouquet all right let's do a close-up and we will move on to the next <clears throat> okay i only have one glove left which is funny for now okay so why don't i do something with the ombre idea, because that wasn't really ombre, was it? Um, you know, what is it though? Because I'm looking at the, this thing that I made and it's like, cool. You know, um, do I want to do a bloom vine? This is so difficult. So blue lines boring. Um, wow. I'm definitely not just doing a, a big bloom. All right, let's try my idea with the um, ombre bloom vine. Um, let's get some around here a little bit. Do, 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 do. Remember, we don't want too much. Let's see what we got. Oops. Yeah. Stretch, stretch, and stretch. OK. 
Okay, put back in the middle a bit. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we still got quite a bit. Okay, what are we doing? Um, all right. So, am I using the hairdryer? Why don't I use the hairdryer? We'll do like a, f although, whatever. Let's just try it, right? Okay. And are we going, I'm just going like this <laughs> to get paint off me. Are we going light to dark? No, we'll go dark to light. Um, and I'll overlap them. Okay. Wood gold, I'm not putting too much. Wood gold look pretty, no, they throw us off. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid putting too much like I'm doing right now. Oh well, we're, we're in it, to win it at this point. We've put too much, I think. I'm just gonna put that there because we know that it's gonna go off. Okay, here we go. We don't know. Hmm. Um, 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 I'll do it in two parts. My cell, activator, my cell activator today is giving like cute little cells. I'm wondering if it's because I made it very thick or if there's a new bottle. I don't know. Interesting. getting an ombre vibe per se but and like these are gonna be huge and very distorted and weird I don't know if I like what's happening kind of boring you know what I mean like cool but kind of boring so what do we do about it because I'm just gonna spit it out and it's gonna get all weird you know? Hmm. Okay. Well, at this point, because this is boring to my eyes, there's options. I could skewer it, which is boring. I can, why don't I make another layer of a bloom right here and spin it out? Is it going to be too busy? Probably. But like, we got nothing to lose, do we? At this point. This paint will be pretty thin. Do you think I should do it? Just like, because I don't want to spit it out and show you that it's going to be boring. Is it going to be boring? <laughs> okay, you know what? Forget it. I'm too scared to do my idea. Um, all right. But who would buy this? Like, would you put this on your wall? No. I wouldn't. Let's see. We'll still have options. I mean, it's not that this part, this one's actually cute, to be honest. I don't mind that one. It just might be a bit boring, but we'll see. I was afraid if I did my idea, it would be too busy <laughs> and the opposite, but too boring, you know? 
Like, this is cute. I don't want to hate on her. There is quite a bit of paint left. So you're not going to see... Like, I'm getting rid of all this. Look at the, There's, like, really cute cells here and stuff. I definitely have to do something more with the cell activator. It's working for me today. Um... You know, but like, what is this at this point? It's fine. It looks like a big leaf. You know, it'd be a good, like, dip, 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 <laughs> stroke. <laughs> Diptic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we still got some paint. But do you see what I mean by boring, but could be cute. Do I have to go get another one and just do the exact same thing? Then it's not gonna really look exactly the same because of the amount of paint I put on, etc. cetera. But see what I mean? I mean, it's very bright, but is it just boring? I don't even know in this light if you can see how bright it is. I'm glad I didn't put something in the middle, to be honest, that would've been too busy, but I'm just like, all right, why don't I do a, a diptych? I'll do a close-up of this one. I'll try to do the exact same thing, but like the other way. And that's not never going to work. Oh my God. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Dip tips. Okay, don't even make fun of me. They are very hard, especially if you're trying to make them like really match in their orientation. But at this point, we're just going for it. Okay, I feel like I did put a bit much. I put some back in there. Get some back in the middle. So this one, I'm actually gonna lay. Okay. So technically, I want it this way. So that's what I'll do. Now, of course, I have no glove. So we are gonna get extra messy. All right. I'll spin it once, <clears throat> just to get some paint going. Okay, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did this way, okay? So, and remember I put a lot. This, okay. Oh, you know what though? I'm actually wrong, because I did do dark to light this way okay the reason that because trust me it's important <laughs> so if i go dark to light this way then that's math okay all right trust me i mean don't trust me because i really don't know what i'm doing but i feel like this is the way to go And I'll turn it the other way when I blow. I just want to make sure that the layering is similar. You know, this is quite a bit of paint. And I will, I mean, there's stuff on the bottom. I'll just lightly, you know. Okay. So now when I blow it, we're going to go this way. Okay. Mm. Okay. Whatever at this point. <laughs> okay, here we go.
Yeah, this flow troll is doing it for me. Okay, it's cute. I don't know if I'm gonna have as much negative space as last one, because I really, but like, look at these cells. So, remember the shape that we're actually gonna go for is this, this orientation loop. So, I don't know if that matters, but. Because it looks like we're gonna have full coverage. So you see, it's not gonna really be a sister. I'm gonna take some of this off this way because there's not much on the other one like this. So I would do wanna make sure they do match a little bit if I can and get some paint off. So we're gonna go slow in the tilt. And actually I'm gonna spin a bit off kilter so that corner goes off. I'm just happy with my flow troll. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know. It's not for it. Ooh, don't fall off. Okay. I keep just looking at the other one. I mean, I don't know. You know what? I'll put them side by side. Um, there's a little bubble there. I'm not like convinced. Yeah, I have to see them. But not a total loss. I do like these colors. So that's my cue. Thank you guys for joining me like subscribe all of that fun stuff let me know what you think do you like the quadruple bloom do you like the sisters i hope you enjoy go play with some neons and uh have a good day Bye bye